What is up, everybody? Under Average Joe here. We are back with our NHL 14 Be a GM commentary series with the Detroit Red Wings. Now, I know, I know, I've been gone for a few days, and um, it's kind of dickish of me because I did say this, this these videos were gonna be an everything like an everyday thing, and I've got to get on top of this because uh, this is something that uh, I find very important, and you know, it's it, it's it's kind of like it's just, it's just really stupid when somebody makes like says they're gonna do something and then they just don't and I've gotten into the habit of that and thinking that that's okay when it's really not. So um, off that topic, let's just hop right into this. So at this point, we're at about 500, but we're, we've won the last few games pretty decently. Um, I believe it was was it DeKaiser that was injured in the last episode. I believe that is I believe that to be the case. Uh, I would be correct. Okay. So, our roster still doesn't look that bad, you know. Um, actually, if you look, for the first time in, like, ever, Ryan Johansson is actually doing fairly well. Here, if you'll scroll over, much better than last year, at least. Um, how is Datsuk doing? Datsuk is 13 in the plus 4. That's fine by me. What about Ferrero? Um, 2 and a minus 3, so I don't know if that third line is going to bring us down. But we are just going to keep on moving, hopefully, through this whole month. We'll sim up to the Senators game, even though we never get as far as we want to. But uh, Versteeg with 8 goals, Patch ready with 12, and Dehan with a plus 8. That's looking great. You know, I think we actually do have a decent team this year. I mean, well, we've had decent teams. Oop, I just dropped my remote. But um, we have had decent teams. It's just we haven't been able to get anything done. Oop, I must have hit. Yeah, must have did that when I dropped my remote. Sorry for that. But, uh, you know, big news in the NHL, in the, uh, like, just in the last uh, few weeks in general. I mean, coaches being hired, people not getting contracts, uh, people actually getting contracts again. Like, uh, Mike Richards is going to be staying with the Kings, even though he had a horrible season this year. They seem to think he can bounce back. Um, Lindback from Tampa is not getting a contract renewal. You know, uh, lo lots of names like that are going to be on the market this year. Uh, who was, I can't remember really too many others off the top of my head. Um, Pittsburgh's in the market for a coach. I believe Carolina's still in the market for a coach. Uh, Vancouver's going to hire Desjardins. Uh, wh what were we at here? I think we were on, uh, OHL forwards, if I do remember correctly, which is probably not the case, but oh well. So, you know, a couple teams are in the market for coaches, and, uh, you know, there, there is a surplus of available guys out there. Um, then we get the draft coming up. Florida's lined up for the number one pick. Uh, we got to see who they're going to take. You know, there's a lot of good names up there. Personally, I favor, I favor Aaron Ekblad, but that's just my thing. Um... Ooh, Calvin DeHaan's injury. Oh, that's for like, yeah, it's like three and a half months. That's actually kind of oh, our defense, no less. Okay, this is actually be gonna be a little tough here. Uh, we well, we have Lash off. Can we get a? Nah, let's get Lash off. He's a, he's a, listed as a depth defenseman, anyways. Might as well. What is Mantha doing down in? The, oh, because we have a crap ton of good guys. I'll put Mantha up one. Just because I want him up there. Defense. We'll pull, we'll put Voinov. Uh, who's doing better? Hickey or Ballard? Uh, zero and a plus two. Hey, that's not bad. <laughs> it's better than nothing. Um, nine points for Hickey. Definitely gonna put Hickey up there. What about, oh, actually, yeah, we'll check on all of our defense. 13 in the minus five. So I think our defense is kind of bringing us down a little bit. Uh, seven in the minus eight for Voinov. Wow. Uh, Jakub Kindle. He's doing better. Better than he did last year. Alright, so we gotta scroll over to defenseman, down to lash off. Okay, I don't feel as oh that uh power play there. Um I'm gonna put Hickey on there. I feel like uh he's our best fit for that. So we got Hickey, uh Spurgeon Boynov, Kindle. I believe yeah, Hickey's gonna be the way to go again. Yeah, I feel like for all these, we're just going to slap Hickey up there. Okay. Um, because, you know, Ballard really hasn't done a whole lot this season. Well, he's only played seven games, but still. 
So keep on scrolling on. Hickey. Then here's going to be Ballard. And actually, I want to get a... Actually, yeah, dude, I'll get Lash off some nice time. I was going to put uh, Spurgeon or Voinov up there. Preferably Spurgeon. But, um, you know, it, it doesn't matter, really. Still, though, three and a half months. Hey, our phone rep finally went up. Oh, my God. How long has that been down? I mean, we've made some pretty crappy trade offers over the uh, over these few years. What season is this, anyways? Let's see. You start in the 2014-2015 season, I believe. No, no, no. The 2013-2014. Uh, okay. Then we have 2014-2015. 15, 16, 16, 17. This is season 5. Okay, now that we got that settled out. And our record is still not improving, which is... I mean, I'm not too alarmed by it, because this happens to us every freaking year. So it, it's less and less of a surprise now. I mean, we are definitely, like, uh, a late... Like, a mid-late season kind of team. But, uh, actually... What... We are in game 28? I, wow, I was way off. Actually, wait, was I? Wow, my brain is... Sorry, guys, I just got done with, uh, freaking... Uh, I've got, like uh state exams and stuff I have to do. So my brain is still like fried from that. I just took my Spanish exams. So my brain is just destroyed from that. So I'm I'm like trying to put numbers together. 14 plus 13 plus 3 is not going to work in my head, which I believe to be 30 if my brain is going to cooperate. Uh I I believe that to be true. Okay. So we have about the same rec record as a Capitals, can we... Okay, there we go. See, we gotta start racking up these wins. Howard's injured. Oh, it might, just, it might be a playable injury. Um, Pittsburgh, again, we have the same record as them. This is gonna be an important game to win for us. Oh, my God. See, it's these close games. I mean, that was, I mean, like, close in the standings, not, like, close in score, because that was a blowout for them. But, um... No, it, it's the games like that that we have to win. And I notice on this team, we can never get that done. Kendall's leading the team in penalty minutes. What is this? Ugh. Alright, yeah. Ottawa's a little ahead. I'll be a little surprised if we beat them. Which we do. See, we can win against the tougher teams, but teams our level, we can't seem to beat. Alright, so going on. Pacioretty's doing really well this season. 36 points. Um, I might have to change up just our overall... Str Ooh, a shutout. Cool, cool. So we want defensemen in the OHL uh, for, what, three weeks? Oh, we already scout there? Eh, apparently not. I don't remember doing that. Okay, scroll over. Actually, we don't need to do that yet. Let's just check what our roster is at right now. And uh, I know we've got a couple injuries, but we shouldn't be just being horrible. Uh, 29 of the plus four. Johansson having a really good season this year. Datsuk with the 80 overall. Wow, he's dropping fast. Um, 5 and a minus 5. Ferrero's doing pretty bad. 7 and the plus 2. Do you want me to switch them up? Ferrero can go on the fourth line. Uh, what about Versteeg? 24 and a plus 1. That's definitely not bad. Patch ready. We already know it's 36 points, but what's his plus? Oh, 37 points with uh, plus 2. Zetterberg with. 24 and a minus 3, so not bad. Like, not, like, really bad. Uh, 21 and a minus 2. Hanowski, the young rookie. Actually, not, wrong, not young at all. But, um, 8 and a minus 5. Uh, maybe not the best pickup for us. Let's see, 7 and a plus, plus 2 for Saboka. Um, 4 and a plus 0, so even. And for Sheehan... 12 and a, actually, I'm going to switch them. Sheehan can go up there. Defense. Okay, it might be our defense that's killing us in this case. 17 and a minus 6. What about Voinov? Oh, 11 and a minus 12. No, I definitely want to change some of the strategy on defense. See what we can do here. 14 and a plus 0. Actually, so it's a plus minus a 0. 15 and even. Lash off. Is... Two and a plus one. So he's not doing bad. Uh, Ballard, two and a plus five. So he, 
yeah, it's that first line defense that's killing us there. So let's see what we can do there. Um, what about scrolling over to defense? Maybe have them shoot a little more and kind of hold the line. Maybe I'm I'm kind of just talking out of my ass here, but because uh, I just want to get this done. I want to see uh see. I'm tired of not seeing results with this Detroit team. I mean, it, it, it's a little frustrating when you put in five seasons of work into a team. But I, I'm not getting overly mad about it because, you know, it's, it's whatever. And I am officially pre-ordering NHL 15. A little side note there. I'm so excited for that game. I mean, I know, like, most games are pretty much the same year by year. But, you know, it's something new. I like the new rosters and all that. Um, so I believe that's all we really have to do. Actually... GM options, trade negotiations, trading block. Who do I have on the block? Uh, not Dallas Stars. Players on the block. That looks actually pretty good. I'll put Ferrero up there also. Here we go. Where's Ferrero? Well, I might just be retarded. Come on. Up, 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 up. There he is. So we have Ferrero. Uh, wow, that Sook's listed as a fourth liner. Okay, well, I don't see a chance of really moving him. But, you know, I'll roll with it. Okay. And we have time. We're just going to keep on keeping on. We'll go past the All-Star game. Uh, I wonder if we can get to the... No, the trade deadline is definitely going to be a little bit of a stretch in this episode. But, hey, if we can reach that, that'd be great. I just wish the sim speed was a little faster, you know? I mean, I understand it has the sim games for the entire league. But, uh, actually, how many games is that? Um, oh, I'm sorry. I just hit the microphone. Let's see. I'm going to pull up the calculator. 82 games per team times 30 teams. 2,460 is how many games this thing has to sim every year. Uh, like every season. And the, this is the fifth season. 100, no, 12,300 games is what, by the end of the season, oh, that's not including playoff games either. So, I want to calculate that now. Hold up. <laughs> Let's go. Ooh. Oh, well, that's going to be a little hard because some teams, yeah, you can't really calculate playoff games because uh, it varies. Let's see. Oh, trading block. Oh, okay. Uh, that's not what I wanted. Uh, Datsuk. Then we want to go down to... Actually, if I see any interesting names, I'll put it on. So, Datsuk being listed as a fourth liner. That's crazy. Um, What about Hanowski? Well, I'm definitely going to do Zetterberg. Actually, I don't think anybody will take him, though. Just because, uh, you know, of how old they are. What about Hanowski? I wonder if I could trade him. Because I got him because of his... <laughs> I mean, his really crappy uh, signing on my part. Oh, well. There we go. Let's see. Let's go all the way up to the trade deadline. Where yeah, there we go. Against St. Louis. Um. So our record is improving, but not enough to where you know it's acceptable. Because I mean, we should be a lot better of a team than we really are. I mean, on paper, we're a pretty good team, but we just can't seem to deliver it. So let's see against San Jose. See five two. They're a team that's quite a bit better than us in a. Well, according to overall standings, we just, we beat them. So maybe it's our change in defensive strategy that's hopefully going to win us a few more games and really get us up there in the rankings. Uh, four to one against Anaheim. Ugh. Oilers, they're probably going to be a powerhouse. Yeah, they got really, uh, Brian Nugent Hopkins. I don't really expect a, actually, wow, they still suck. <laughs> it's like year five. All their players are fully developed and they still suck. Wow. That's just bad luck on their part then. Let's see, 23, 16, and 3. We are actually doing pretty well right now. I'm actually kind of happy with this. I mean, that's even with uh, De Kaiser and Dehan out for the time being. Put uh, Ablocator on that third line. Okay, I re I'm really kind of upset that Mantha isn't developing like I wanted him to. I mean, like, sure, I could give him more minutes, but I'm trying to be fair to, like, the other players too. And, uh, actually, I think Mantha's like 23, 24 at this point in this game. I mean, I expect him to be in the NHL at some point, but I was just hoping he'd develop a little faster. 
Uh, let's go goalies over in the OHL, which is not even worth scouting. QMJHL for four uh, four weeks, which is a month. All right, All Star Game. Don't really care about that. There we go. I believe in my first season in Winnipeg. I think I played the All Star Game once and just made like a fool of myself because of how bad I am at it. Just because I like I'm not big on actually I'll put Manta up there, but I'm not big on the actual like playing the game. I just like simming. I don't I don't know why. Like live the life. I play most of the games, but uh, I don't know. I just like the sim engine. So it's again Philly. Philly's significantly worse than we are. Oh, so many players injured and coming back. Um, there we go. Right there. That's good. Four weeks. So the Kaiser. Oh, three weeks. So the Kaiser comes back. Then we got Dehan coming in March. Uh, I want. I should probably check how our minor league team's doing. Uh, in a little bit here. Ooh, it might be close. I don't know if we're gonna make it to, cause I want to keep this under 20 minutes. I don't know if we're gonna make it to, uh, the trade deadline. Hmm. Hmm. How curious. I don't even know. I'm so tired. I'm, no, I don't want to play. Actually, do it. We've got like, maybe like 10 games of, I'll sim all the way. I'll, I'll go to the trade deadline for you guys. And, uh, I want some, I want some responses down there in the comments, guys. You guys, uh, I want to see some trades. I want to see some, like, requests of who you want to see come in, who you want to see go out. Uh, just any kind of input in that, ca in that, uh, wow. I can just not talk today. <laughs> that aspect of things. So, let's see, it's Dallas. Oh, Paul, is he any good? Paul Gostad? And he's not as good as I want him to. No, I'm good. That's extra contract that I don't really care about. Wait, Daniel Sedin's playing for Dallas? Huh. Interesting. But let's see, we have four more games that we do loss, four more wins that we do losses. So, I'm good with that. Let's see. Before we leave this episode, also, I want to, uh, check out where we are in the standings. Ooh, Chicago's not doing too hot this year. Our old rivals. And <laughs> I went to overtime. I, I'm, can live with that. Wow, I'm starting to get cotton mouth. I'm not used to cotton. And see, when you get into the flow of commentating, right? And you just commentate for like, you release videos over weeks and weeks. You get used to it. Like, you get, you, you like, your brain makes connections and you're like, all right, I'm going to talk about this for 20 minutes or I'm going to talk about this, this, and this. Where now that I'm kind of like out of the loop of it, it's going to be really hard to get back into it. Especially just because, you know, I'm lazy, and uh, I got to try and fix that. So let's see, 52 points for Patch are ready in 50 games. Hold up, brain thinking. 49 games. Uh, Anaheim beat us earlier in the year, and they do it again. Ooh, De Kaiser's gonna come back before the end of this episode. Excited for that. Hopefully, uh really start picking up a steam this season because we really aren't making any progress when you look at it we're 25 20 and 5 oh, 26 20 and 5 now but yeah we really aren't making too much progress in terms of standings and that's a little yeah no brunner's doing good he's got a plus seven but that means uh well, actually no dehan's injured never mind brain what are you doing <laughs> um let's see i believe the trade deadline is Oh, there we go. Actually, I'm going to end it right here with the Kaiser coming back. I know we ended it last time on him being injured. But yeah, he's back. Next episode, we're going to go right up to the trade deadline. And I want to know what you guys think. I want to know who you want coming in, who you want to get rid of. You know, just any input. So don't forget to like the video, drop a comment down below, and I will see you guys later. Peace.